show how to do some lunar capturing and uh, that we want to use the video for also with planetary and so in order to do that we are going to select video and as you can see I already um, slewed over to the moon and so this is what I got right now which is like zoomed in quite a bit so we want to get the whole moon in there so to do that we uh, change our frame so we're just going to go up to 960p and that looks pretty good so now we just need to adjust it so um, we're going to use our uh, let's use our crosshairs so we know where we're at and we're going to move that we're going to go down Okay, and then move it all on over, and that's pretty good. Yeah, I love that. Oops. Oh, that way. Okay, I think we're pretty well centered. So we can turn that off now. Now what we want to do is. Um, I increase the gain of the camera, and um, uh, if you want to see the settings here, we can um, we have different video formats that we can use. AVI is the more more popular one. Um, I know uh, if I took, was to bring this into Auto Stacker for post processing, then it likes AVI, so I'm going to use AVI. Um, and uh, uh, we can mute the audio. We don't need any audio in there. And um, well, we can also you can flip this vertically or horizontally. And I, th I think I'm already set up where the means in the correct position. So we are not going to change any of that. And an another thing you want to do is um, on your mount you want to change your tracking to lunar instead of side rail so that the moon will stay centered better and so you can see there's a little bit of drift going on but it's not bad um, if I put my crosshairs on there again See, it's already moved up a little bit. So, uh, let's see, let's adjust that. Okay, and move it a little bit more there. Just to compensate for that drift. And turn the crosshairs off, and now we're gonna, I think we're ready to capture. So, um, to do that, um, oh, another thing I wanted to show you too was you can change the exposure here and it shows you what your gain setting was. I increased my gain setting so um, I can decrease the or increase the speed that it, it's capturing. And down here, you can see how many frames per second that were. Uh, capturing it. Um, this is a large sensor. If we put a smaller sensor on, we get a lot more frames per second. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, uh, with that, let's go ahead and record. 
So now we're recording. And I'm gonna let it go for a minute and a half here. And as you can see, you can kind of see a, I, I, there is a good scene tonight. So there's a lot of, it looks like the moon's kind of swimming. <laughs> and, um, and this is why you, you take video. The purpose of taking video over taking still shots and stacking is that with video, you're capturing a whole bunch of frames up in a really uh, quick time. And then you can use software to um, dump most of the frames, but just keep the best, like maybe 5% of the frames. And then, it, and then stack the best 5%. And then that way, you, um, as, uh, as it's capturing the pictures, you get certain frames that are really good and then other frames that aren't good. And um, this makes it so that you can get high quality stacked pictures in a short period of time. Okay, that's good. So um, now we can go over to our image file. And um, as you can see, I've, I've already taken one. Um, oh, I need to change the name of that too. But anyway, um, as you can see, we can go back and watch the, the video. Um, more. There we go. That we captured. And um, we captured 1.52 gigs worth of data in just that short period of time. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Uh, one thing to note is that, and I might have it a little bit too high still on the exposure here. Um, uh, sometimes it's good to play around with that a little bit. It's better to go more dim than bright because um, as you're stacking, as it stacks, it will become uh, brighter. And when you go to process it, you can increase the, um, you can stretch it as you stretch it and it becomes brighter. So. Um, uh, it's better to be able to work with a little dimmer picture than a bright picture because it, you can't go really the other way. So it's better to go more dim than it is bright. All right, so let's go back out of here. And so now, um, I don't think there's anything else I can show you here, but it has pretty nice, um, easy to set up and easy tools to, to get what you need to take a, a good capture.